I've tested a lot of rangefinders on my channel, but this could quite possibly be the best one yet. But it comes with a price tag. If you stay tuned to the end of this video, you'll find out how you can get an extra discount on this rangefinder as a Scratch at 50 viewer. So this is the Malesi PFS2 rangefinder. Now Malesi is a brand that I first came across a couple of years ago and they were kind of known for making great value rangefinders that you would largely find on Amazon. But this is their premium product and it comes with premium features but it also has a premium price tag. So, so first of all let me just talk you through the product. The first thing that I really like about this product is definitely the build quality on it. It definitely is a premium product and that is very apparent as soon as you open the box. It's a very nice sort of tactile piece of equipment and the other thing is it's probably the most compact rangefinder that I've ever used. It fits in the hand extremely easily. It feels a lot smaller than it actually is. It is the smallest rangefinder I've ever tested, but when I put it against other rangefinders, it was only slightly smaller, but it does feel smaller. You also get what you would expect with a premium rangefinder, a very high quality bag. Uh, for attaching to your golf bag it just slots in there it keeps it in place it's very very nicely done it definitely is one of the nicer rangefinder uh, pouches that i've had uh, but for this price tag i would expect it so let's get that out of the way first this retails for 390 pounds but it is never sold for that price as far as i can see it seems to be permanently at about 307 pounds on the malesi website and if you stay tuned to the end of this video you'll find out how you can get an extra discount on this rangefinder as a scratch at 50 viewer so it's very compact it fits in the hand very well what else do i really like about it well the first thing i really like about it is the optics on it are extremely good extremely clear if you go onto the Molesi website, it has all this stuff about their premium optic, making it one of the clearest and best rangefinders on the market. It is very, very clear, but all of the rangefinders I've ever tested are very clear. But the first thing I really like about this rangefinder is when you look through that crystal clear optic and you bounce on the flag, not only do you get a vibration lock for the flag lock, but you also get the numbers flashing red. So you get a two piece confirmation that you have got the correct yardage on the flag. I really like that because sometimes in the past I've made the schoolboy error of actually thinking that I've picked up the flag and actually I haven't and I've, I've given myself a wrong yardage. So that is the first thing that I really like about it. But there are some features with this that I've never come across on a rangefinder that I've tested before. Another thing to mention, and as you would expect with a rangefinder of this specification, is that yes, it does have slope for when you are playing in non-competitions. Obviously, you can't use slope in a competition. It's very simple. You just move the arrow down to play in competitions with no slope. I move the arrow up to then get slope for when you are not playing in competitions. Again, as soon as you engage the slope, the viewfinder automatically gives you the two measurements in the top. It gives you the actual measurement and then underneath the slope measurement taken into either the uphill or the downhill. So the next really neat feature that I found with this rangefinder that I've not come across on any of the rangefinders that I've reviewed before uh, and there's a couple of them and the first one is it has and on a day like today where there is some rain knocking around there is a rain setting on this that mean that any droplets that are on the optics of this rangefinder get filtered out and you still get the accuracy as if you were playing in full dry weather so again that's something that when you're playing in slightly inclement conditions it's that kind of confirmation that you are getting the right yardages out on the golf course to toggle through the modes there is basically the red button there is what you press to get your yardage and the black button here is what you toggle through the modes you just toggle to a mode it has a little cloud with rain and it appears in the top and you know that you are on the right setting for rainy conditions i've not come across that before and i think it's a great little feature so now onto the feature that i think is an absolute game changer for this 
rangefinder. Now I have done some research and other rangefinders do have this feature but I've never had it on any of the rangefinders that I've reviewed before and basically it is called point to point. So in a situation like this where I'm blocked out by this tree and I'm going to have to knock it out there to get to a layup yardage you simply put this with the black button like I said before, black button just toggles through the modes. You get to A to B, just says A to B on the, uh, on the screen. And then all I do is just stand slightly to the side so I can see the pin. And then I pick out a point where I'm thinking of laying up to. I get that yardage. And then, so I have to move here slightly to get the yardage to the pin. Take the second yardage on the pin. And then it gives me the yardage from the first point to the second point, which there is 140 yards. So I actually would like to have a layup yardage of about 120. So I know now that I need to be slightly further down than my point, or I could simply do that process again. From a course management point of view, I think that feature with the rangefinder is fantastic because you can accurately get your layup yardage or work out whereabouts you are in a hole and where you want to leave yourself your ideal shot into the green. Point to point, very nice feature. So, in conclusion, what are my thoughts on the Molesi PFS2 top of the range rangefinder? Well, I've got to say, I'm super impressed with the performance and the spec, but maybe for a rangefinder that's over 300 pounds, I should be impressed. Who is this rangefinder for? Well, if you simply want a rangefinder that is just going to give you a yardage to the flag and have slope on it, then this is not the rangefinder for you. You can get a rangefinder that does that and you will spend considerably less money. But if you want to have a real premium top of the range with top of the range features, then this rangefinder could be the one for you. You have got a number of features here the two confirmation lock on the flag and the lock is very quick by the way one of the quickest that i've come across you've got the rain feature to make sure that you're getting accurate yardages when it's raining which on the day like today where it is about to start raining then that's a very useful feature to have but the one for me that i was probably impressed with the most was the point to point to get my layup yardages when i'm wanting to make sure that i'm getting my course management right throw in a very simple slope feature and I think that this rangefinder does absolutely everything you could wish a rangefinder to do. The only one that I can think of that has a considerably higher spec than this would be the new Garmin rangefinder that has GPS and course maps built into it. I've not seen that rangefinder, but I remember seeing something like that. So, yes, if you are looking for an absolute premium rangefinder, with top of the range spec, then I would recommend you having a look at this rangefinder. And also get into the description where you can see where you can get a little bit of extra discount by using the link in the description to get some more money off this Molesi PFS2. Okay, that's it for this review video. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think of all of those features. Get in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs>